How's it going everyone? This is SoulTuner786 and this is an online mission called Extradition that we got from Mark Madrazo. I'm joined in this mission with my friends OMG is Assassin and Matty the Butte 87, two of my favorite playmates. And this mission is one that I have done numerous times before, but as you can see, we goof up an awful lot at the beginning. It takes us, I believe, three or four attempts to complete it, which makes it the longest, most tedious, and least profitable mi mission we've probably done to date. In case you're not familiar with the mission X tradition, it's a multi-part one. The first part requires you to break into Fort San Kudo Air Base, which I achieved by taking a right after crossing the bridge and jumping over a small hillock just to get over the fence. Once you're inside, you can enter the airbase and try to get yourself a jet. And then what you have to do is you have to take out an informant that's talking to the DA about Martin Madrazo's business. So you need to take down the aircraft that he's on, but usually you miss that in the course of getting into the base. So if you miss, and more than likely you will, you uh, then have to take out the DA that he's spoken to, and this is obviously a lot harder because now you're flying a jet and you have to take out the DA who's driving in a limousine, and of course he's making a getaway. So shooting down another aircraft with the P996 laser is a piece of cake. Shooting at a moving car, not so easy. Once you take out the DA, then of course you have to collect the briefcase with the evidence in it, and that of course poses another challenge. So as you'll see, we uh, get to a certain extent in the first couple tries, but then basically we have to start over for I think the fourth time, and then finally we chase the guy all the way through the city, and finally he makes it to actually a police station where he's got safe haven, but I managed to take him out at that point. So finally I managed to hit the car when it was stationary inside the police station. Now the briefcase was being held conveniently in the parking lot. So what I do is I fly around a little bit, lose the cops, and then parachute in. But of course even that doesn't go as I had planned. I had intended to parachute right into the yard, but of course I hit a light pole and that took care of that. So then I needed to find an alternate way to get into the police station. So I grabbed a station wagon, backed it up against the wall, and hopped over. Now it seemed as though I was stuck inside the police station, but fortunately it wasn't too hard to get out. It's only closed on one side. You can simply walk in. Had I known that, I might have taken a different approach getting inside. So now all I had to do was lose the cops again. 
and I got the first car that I found, which was nothing impressive, but it did the job. I had a helicopter on me, so I managed to find myself a parking garage that I could hide out undercover. And that's it. Just another day in my GTA Online today. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you got a kick out of it. It certainly wasn't the most fancy execution of the mission. It was probably one of the worst. But it did make for a pretty good video, I hope. Delivered some crazy bloopers at the beginning. And I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Isn't it beautiful? A modernist wonder home. Very significant. <laughs> my uh, business associate lives here. I bought it for her. Uh, for him. For her. For, for her as a present. Because I like her. As a business associate. Anyway, here. Give me that. Yes. Perfect. I will do great. Good working with you, my friend. I'll see you again. And keep this house between us. Twenty-three thousand closer to that yacht. Game on.